Universal Studios has officially dropped the trailer for Oppenheimer, the man who was known as the father of the atomic bomb due to his extensive involvement and charge in the Manhattan Project, a World War II era program to develop the atomic bomb. There might be more trailers to come, but this is really it. The movie will open on July 21, 2023, competing up against famous blockbusters such as Barbie and the Marvels opening the same day. Without further ado, let's play the trailer. We imagine a future. And our imaginings horrify us. So what Oppenheimer is saying is that we never imagined that the weapon he and other scientists developed would horrify humanity in fearing that any future warfare would at least involve the threat or use of any nuclear weapon. Developing such a weapon to the point of realization made him horrify what the future implications of nuclear warfare would bring about. They won't fear it. until they understand it. And they won't understand it until they've used it. So Oppenheimer is referring to either the military or to humanity in general. Basically, it's waxing poetic about people seeking a quick end to the war when that end is a weapon of immense power. At the time, no one can imagine a weapon with such immense power more than any conventional or chemical or biological weapons that the general public had seen at this time. Theory will take you only so far. I don't know if we can be trusted. With such a weapon. But we have no choice. Oppenheimer contemplates the gravity of its creation. He doesn't know if humanity can be trusted with such a weapon, but he had no choice but to develop them since the cat is out of the bag anyways. The two totalitarian regimes and enemies of the Allies, Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan, were also well known to seek to acquire atomic bombs during the Second World War. Luckily, their resources were not up to par compared to the grand endeavor undertaken on American soil known as the Manhattan Project. In simpler terms, better we get the bomb first before our enemies. So what does he mean by that? Is he referring to the nuclear test explosion called the Trinity test? I can't make sense of it, but I'm assuming this might be related to Oppenheimer testifying in some case in his trial after the war. That's all I have to say about this one. If anyone likes to comment on this one, feel free to do so. I would like to add a few extra notes. So far, only Killian Murphy appears in this trailer but no important actors have been seen so far with a few exceptions, we can see Josh Peck playing as nuclear physicist Ernest Lawrence, turning on a switch to some nuclear device, I think. Over here, we have the Iron Man actor named Robert Downey Jr., playing as U.S. Navy Reserve Officer and Admiral Louis Strauss, who is seen sitting in the car in the second seat, and in the driver we see here is Jack Quaid, who is playing as physicist Richard Feynman. Other than that, 
that's really all I have to say. The trailer looks so promising in terms of visuals and important aspects of history. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel, and be sure to watch this movie in theaters come July 21, 2023.